Thanks for joining our video demo series for the Oracle ZFS storage appliance. Now I'm going to show you how to set up SSH public keys. These can be used for setting up passwordless uh, SSH connections into the appliance, mainly used to automate uh, CLI scripting, things like that. Uh, some you know admin users like to use it for management, but it's fairly easy to set up uh, when you're logged in as whatever user. In this case, I'm logged in as root, configuration preferences, and then for whatever user you're logged in, these SSH keys will be for that user. So this will be for the root user, and then you simply get your SSH key. In my case, I used uh, Putty Keygen because I'm on a Windows machine, and uh, I cut and paste that. It's a DSA type key. I paste it in here. Uh, this is, lives on my PC. So I'll add that in, hit apply. Uh, then you simply can go to open up a putty session and create a saved session here. To the same IP address and we'll call this ZS34. Uh, I have to change a couple of settings. You can hit save just to save it. Uh, auto login. So you want to put in the same username that you wanted to use. And then one other thing under SSH authorization, the private key file. So you need to come in here and pick the correct private key file, which I got from my uh, putty keygen. And then I'll go back to the top. One last time, hit save. Then I should be able to hit open. And you'll see it logs in uh, right into the machine with root and then automated. I didn't use the public key, uh, that one right there. And you're ready to go. So now you're at the SSH screen. So I can go to configuration. Uh, I can. Uh, Look at things in the box just as you normally would but again the main purpose besides getting without password is to automate cli scripts which will be another short video thank you so much